Hillsboro, Texas area. Thanks, Wayne, for all the hospitality. It was a really good time. It was great to catch up. Great to talk with uh, the people that were invited over and hang out with them. Uh, unfortunately, the weather didn't cooperate the whole time we were there. It was kind of rainy, overcast, and cool. But the first couple of days were nice, and, and yesterday was really nice. And so we sat out in the pool in these chairs. And uh, I always say I'm going to sit out for like half an hour and then put sunscreen on. And I always lose track of time. So now I'm hurting pretty good right now. And it'll be a couple of days before that goes away. I got uh, pretty bad sunburn, so I never learn. I think I do that every time I visit him. But anyway, uh, good trip. I did get almost everything done on the Jeep that I needed to. It was, just, I think, yesterday that I finished up the sway bar link. So I got new hardware for the one and uh, bought extra hardware just in case. So now those are back on. I don't have to worry about rolling as uh, much as I was in the past few uh, or a couple of weeks so all that's done so that's good and now I am heading to Palo Duro uh, Canyon which was recommended by a couple of people so I'm going to do that up in the panhandle of Texas outside of Amarillo it is a couple of hours out of my way I think instead of just driving straight to Flagstaff but that's all right because uh, I wanted to check at least something out here in Texas um from uh, you know perspective of say in a state park or just something interesting um, other than uh, you know staying at the lake so that'll be kind of cool and then anything else that I wanted to do I'll just have to check out next time so it's about 10 hours away and I need to probably stay somewhere between here and there before I get there because it's already one o'clock um, not sure looking at the GPS it says arrival 935 but I know I'm not going to drive that fast and I'm going to be making gas stops so I'll have to decide along the way and then check it out most of tomorrow and then probably push towards Flagstaff uh, after that so that's the plan and uh, that's it for now check this out all these birds and on the other side there look up there on the bridge So we just entered Palo Duro Canyon State Park and it is $8 to get in per person. So this is uh, right near the entrance so I am uh, filming this on my way in. It's pretty cool because when you're driving through the Panhandle of Texas it's just totally flat and then you come over this crest and all of a sudden it turns green like instantly. That's uh, pretty neat to see actually. But now uh, that I'm close to the park and, and in the park, you can actually start to see the canyons and the walls and everything, and it's uh, it's pretty cool. So this is actually uh, worth the drive.
I decided while I was here I was going to do at least one trail. Um, it's only, I don't know, about 10 miles to drive around the park. The whole park itself is, I think, 120 miles end to end, but uh, the area that you can drive in is fairly small, but it's still neat to see. You get some good scenery. But uh, I decided to do the Lighthouse Trail. It's supposed to be one of the most popular ones, and it's like a sandstone sculpture that looks like a lighthouse. I know you can get up to it, and I think I read that you can even go to the top of it, but have to wait and see when I get there. Um, they said that uh, you need to bring a gallon of water with you, and so I, of course, brought this. But I downed a pint of water before I started and filled this up. So I've at least got that. It's only about five and a half to six miles round trip. And it is a absolutely gorgeous, pretty much cloudless day. A couple of, uh, actually, now that I look in the camera, a couple of clouds have started to come through earlier. There was nothing to be seen. But the temperature gauge said about uh, 85 degrees and it's going on five o'clock. So they highly recommended sunscreen, um, obviously. But uh, I have a whole bunch of it at home, and so it only made sense that I leave it all there and not have any. So I'm going to have to pick that up at some point, because I'm going to probably end up doing a lot of hikes out in the open like this when I'm out west. Um, so that's going to be a must. However, they actually had uh, 30 SPF right at the trailhead um, in little dispensers. So that was kind of cool. So they had both water and sunscreen at the trailhead, so big uh, plus for the state park for that. That was really cool. Um, uh, the bugs are super bad, so insect repellent would have been kind of good. A lot of black flies, a lot of uh, green ones. I used to live in Las Vegas and did a lot of hikes out in the desert in a lot of different areas, and I don't remember these green flies, but when they bite you, you instantly see blood, and then even after you kill them and wipe the blood away, more blood comes out. So it's a hell of a sting. It really hurts. Um, but I don't remember those uh, when I was out west. And maybe I just forgot, but man, they are a huge pain. But it's a great park. Um, nice views and just a really nice trail system from what I can tell. You can mountain bike here, uh, take horses out on some of the trails, and then obviously walk in a bunch of the trails. Um, but there seem to be quite a few of them. I think the Lighthouse one is probably one of the longer ones, but it's also a really moderate one. It's nothing too difficult. It's just uh, kind of long all the way around, um, or back and forth when uh, you're in the middle of the sun. So overall, pretty good hike so far. I really hope that blue comes out on camera because in person, it is amazing. So this is the viewpoint to the actual lighthouse. I think I have about another mile and a half almost to go before I actually get to it. I walked right up on that guy and he rattled at me. That was close. Needless to say, I'll be looking down a lot more. <laughs> but he didn't strike or anything, he just got pissed because I think I was just out of striking distance for that one. Man, <laughs> I lived in Las Vegas for two and a half years and spent so much time in the desert going all different state parks and other parks in other states and never once walked up on a rattler. I walked up, actually I did in North Carolina, but not that close, not that unexpected. So obviously I am going to be looking, ouch, out, another fly just got me. I will definitely be watching the ground a lot more. I was enjoying the scenery around me, 
and then ended up in that uh, patch of trees and uh, brush back there. And it was, I think it was because of his rattle that I actually uh, stopped because it scared the crap out of me. But I was looking at that <laughs> and then the moon, which is a lot closer without the camera. But yeah, that would have been interesting. So it was 2.7 from the bottom of this rock formation and there was no good sign to say which way to go but it looks like I can go up there and then I don't know I guess it leads over there but this grade is super steep and definitely not met for these flat bottom shoes but I made it without falling Getting down could be more interesting. I think I'm gonna end up on my ass, but I'm already this far, so I'll keep going. That view is worth it itself, though. I don't think you can get to the top of that, but I'm sure you can get to the base of it. Is either a coyote or a wolf, and he's definitely checking me out. And I do not have bear spray. Man, I gotta start bringing this crap. He is definitely looking at me. Now, I was going to walk around this way, but now I think I'll just walk the way that I came. And uh, keep an eye open. I did bring a pocket knife, but that's it. I don't think that's going to do too much good. He just walked away like, all right, now I'm going to go see how to go around them. Come up from behind. Who knows? So I did just walk up to that ledge. That's where he was. And I saw him go down there. I wanted to make sure I could at least see where he was going. It's decent size, that's for sure. But once he went down over that ledge where it's dark right there, I lost him. I don't think he's gonna bother me, but I don't know this area, so I don't know how territorial they are and how hungry they are or anything like that. So I'll just keep my eyes open, but I am gonna go up here. So this is the area that I was filming. And Right down there is where I took the video, but what a cool area. If I would have had time, I would have definitely grabbed something to eat, but I gotta walk over three miles back. And actually, I guess you can get to the top of that one, right where that dark area is. Looks like there's a trail that goes all the way up. I wouldn't be surprised if you can follow that all the way to the top, but I don't think I need to. And then this one here, unless you're gonna rock climb, I seriously doubt you're gonna get up that one. But it's still pretty cool to get so close. But yeah, I'm pretty sure, based on what I'm looking at, that you could definitely go up from the back there and get up top, but that's something I just don't need to do. I didn't bring enough water, which I knew, so I'm gonna play it safe and not wear myself out even more. That's where the guy went. But uh, keep second guessing it, but man, that's not gonna be a lot of work. Oh well, maybe next time if I come back. I just don't feel like it. So yeah, that's it. We made it to almost the top of uh, Lighthouse Rock. And the view is awesome, but I need to start making my way back 
and be on the lookout for rattlesnakes so I'll be keeping up a good pace but not so much because now a lot of the stuff is going to be in the shadows with the sun going down over there so get back get uh, in the Jeep get back on the road probably gonna stay at a rest stop tonight because all the campgrounds here are full and I need to start making my way to Flagstaff so that is the plan So I made it back in pretty good time. The sun's still pretty high and I moved the Jeep over to here so that I can uh, clean up real quick and change. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and change into my sleeping clothes so that when I hit the first rest stop on 40, I'm just gonna pull over and, and sleep. I don't like driving too much at night because I think I miss too much. And even though it's the Panhandle of Texas, I still think it's beautiful, so. That's the plan. I feel pretty nasty from all the sunscreen and all the dust that just gets kicked up from being on the trail. So figured that's as good a spot as any. And then I'm gonna call it a night. <laughs> 